So here's some bottle with some message in it. We should see what it is. Dear Bob the Pirate, I picked up a bottle of barbecue sauce the other day, and it said that pirates invented barbecue. Is this true? Sincerely, Jimmy Freeman. Well, Jimmy, yes, of course it's true. I mean, when's the last time a bottle of barbecue sauce lied to you? Pirates and barbecue, they go hand in hand. Strange and exotic places, weird spice, slightly spoiled meat. We were forced to improvise, I mean, so we did it. But in case that's not enough for you, a proof, if you will. Now it should be clear, pirates are awesome. Barbecue? That's right, awesome. Therefore, it's clear, pirates are barbecue. Okay, some mathematicians might get a little mad at this point, be like, well, that's not what you were saying you were going to show. I have a solution for that. The famous pirate playwright William Shakespeare once said, a pirate must constantly reinvent himself. So, since reinventing is a type of inventing and pirates are barbecue, therefore, it implies pirates invented barbecue. Q E M D. You'll get a lot of fancy pants mathematicians that are like, oh no no, Bob the pirate. Math doesn't work that way. Well, this is pirate math. Math does not work that way. Those are some suspiciously fancy trousers. It does too. Have some rum. There you go, rum plus fancy pants mathematician equals regular guy. That makes sense. Pirates totally invented barbecue. You see? These trousers are acceptable. I should caution you. Don't take this pirate math thing too far. Add too much rum to your regular guy. You could have some unexpected consequences. So there you have it. Pirates totally invented barbecue. And a little pirate math lesson to boot. Two for the price of one. Except you're not paying anything. I think we should change that. Give me your money. Oh. Ah!